YouTube, it's your girl Diva Dimples. I'm coming to you for my, I think this is my 15 week update because I told y'all there were two weeks in the last time I was at, no, this is my 14 week because at the last time I was actually at um, uh, three months. So that's 12 weeks. So two weeks later, it's 14. Um, I'm doing good. As y'all can see, I'm a kind of little made up today and the reason why I made up today is because if you live in New Orleans Louisiana like I do you'll know that this weekend is one of the happening weekends um, we have the essence festival in town the empower seminars um, all kind of things that's going on in town and of course I gotta be a part of it hello so um, tonight I'm going to see Kanye West I'm going to see my girl Jill Scott um, there's El DeBarge, there's Shaka Khan, there's just some other, like a lot of artists, but I'm, of course I'm quite sure y'all know what the Essence Festival is. So tonight I'm getting all dolled up, I have a nice hot pink dress, so I'm going to try to take some pictures because this is my first official time since surgery that I'm going to all get all dolled up in a dress that I've brought after the surgery because I haven't been shopping. Um, and I think I look pretty good. I think I look good in it. So I'm going to take some pictures and try to get you a picture the next time. But yeah, so I'm going to the Essence Festival tonight. Um, okay, the last time I was a 200 even. Guess what? In two weeks, you guys, um, I haven't lost any weight. Um, I think I'm at a stall, but hey, that's still good because this is my first stall. I've never, I haven't gained any weight. I'm still 200 even. I'm like I said again. I'm still taking the intake of the water and things of that nature. I guess my body is just trying to slow down and say, hey, what's going on? And I understand that, but I'm still happy. Um, I'm still feeling good. Um, I've been trying on clothes, and I actually was at 1820. Um, and this week when I was looking for my dress which is an extra large dress oh my god and normally I'm in a 2x um and then I tried on some number clothes if ladies you know what I'm talking about I'm in like a 14 16 and I haven't been that in a very 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 long time um just want to let y'all know I'm fine um looking forward to tonight um yeah um oh I know what I wanted to, to, to share with you guys. You know, I'm quite sure if you look at a lot of my earlier videos, you'll see like where I purchase so much stuff because I'm a shopaholic. God help me. I'm trying to do better with that. Um, one word of advice I would like to give you, and I'm quite sure other people have given it on here, is uh, slow your roll when it comes to shopping and getting things that you probably think or you see others getting because your body may be totally different and you don't need that or doesn't agree with you and I'm even talking about like I brought bowls I brought all kind of like little things that I thought in my mind that was going to help me and half of the stuff is still in my pantry and I haven't even used it like little now storage bowls like the little small storage bowls they really come in handy but I brought all kind of all kind of bowls you know you do need a little smaller fork and a smaller spoon and a bowl to help you learn how to take smaller bites which you really need to do because I'm still struggling with trying to take smaller bites and chew, 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 chew 30 times before you actually swallow. However, um, just slow down on buying all those different things because your body changes, your taste changes. Like I went and bought a whole big old pack from Sam's of Crystal Light. I don't like Crystal Light now. It's too sweet. Actually, I don't like anything that's sweet now. I basically just drink water. I mean, that's my beverage of choice. And I've tried to sip, like, I, I found, that's my phone, excuse me. I've tried to sip on, like, a, no sugar, no carb, no carbonation, no caffeine-free lemonade or uh, same thing, tea. And it's still kind of like, ugh. And I just rather have, um water instead i mean that just quench my thirst and things of that nature but yeah slow down on buying all those different things and because protein i mean i have a, even a big bottle of like the um smoothie king vanilla protein powder and it didn't agree with me and now i use um two powders that agree with me and i can only take the chocolate kind is eas protein powder and um Undry. That's really good. And I mix it with 
um, chocolate milk. There's this milk by Hood, and it's called Calorie Countdown Milk, and there's like 8 grams of protein in the milk. Still low fat, low carbs, but I mix that inside of the protein shakes. I know some people still don't agree with the protein shakes, but to me, I find that when I take, I've did it both ways. I've stopped taking, you know, the protein shakes to see, uh, how it works but I find my body works better on taking the protein shakes um daily you know daily and I take one shake in the morning uh, for breakfast and like sometimes when it's getting too late and I don't can't find anything to eat or I haven't brought anything or figure out what I'm gonna eat I'll just do a shake and that just call it a day and that's been working for me um I've seen a couple of friends that haven't seen me in a while. They're just so amazed by my weight loss and I still feel in my mind and I don't know if you guys get this um I've lost what 60 61 pounds since surgery and I still feel heavy I still feel like the old tradition now granted I feel the looseness in my clothes I can obviously see a little bit in my face I guess I didn't have a neck oh my god and I have a neck now I looked at old pictures um, and that's the only way I can see it when I look at the pictures before and after then I'll be like oh yeah wow uh, but at the same time it's like I still feel heavy you know, and I want to lose 60 more pounds. So, excuse me, I'm suffering from a little sinus tonight, you guys. Um, I still want to lose um, 60 more pounds. So, um, what are they going to do when they see me 60 pounds lighter than I am now? I guess they're going to really have a fit. But it's it, it's good for the soul, you know. It, it, don't get me wrong. You know, nobody can't even sit there and say, oh, when somebody say, oh, my God, you look so great. That doesn't make you feel good because it truly does. And I thank God for it every day. And I thank God for allowing the surgeon to be able to come in my life to, to, uh, to make me healthier because that is the goal. Excuse me. I know that is so not ladylike and cute to be cleaning my nose on camera but you know just to um to have this surgery is a blessing and to, to no longer have the diabetes i mean to be you know diabetic or you know high blood pressure whatever your thing was you know i'm quite sure you're thankful for that but i just wanted to check in with you guys because i promised i was going to keep up every two weeks but your girl is about to get ready to go out but i'm gonna definitely take a lot of pictures tonight because i love pictures um and I think I'm gonna be feeling cute tonight, so um, I'm gonna take the pictures. I'm gonna post. I'm trying to. I don't know. I guess I'm trying to slice it and dice it. You know how y'all do on that media one thing, um, so y'all can see how I was looking. Okay, so um, y'all have a wonderful time. I will. Um, good night. Have a wonderful day.